This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in at 185 pounds. Legacy 9, Arlo Keith calling the action alongside the face of Bellator, Richard Kiley joining us here at Cage Legacy and on the mic. We have a super match up here in the middleweight division between SPG Swords, Ian Gary taking on SPG Tala, Steve Costello. Costello is in the blue rash guard, Gary in the white death row shorts. I am really looking forward to this fight. Two very, very highly talented prospects. So it'll be interesting to see now how this one pans out. Gary looking to push the action. Nice tidy hands by Gary. Again, Gary coming with it, kickboxing and boxing background, of course a judo black belt as well, so he's gone from a position he's comfortable in to a position he's comfortable in. Costello, a unit of a man, it has to be said. As we, we, he trains in SPG Tala, we call him the juggernaut, a very, very powerful athletic guy. He sure looks that way. Gary just fighting head position, making life uncomfortable for Costello up against the fence. Yeah, a clever strategy by Gary. Fighting a big athletic guy like that, you want to take his uh, take his attributes away, push him up against the cage, start chopping away at that knee, at that leg like he's doing. Costello staying calm where he is though. He's not expending so much energy here, and Gary looking to take it to the mat, but nice. Costello dies down on it and possibly looking for the neck here. Nice sprawl by Costello. Just a little wrist control there, you mightn't see it on the camera, but Costello's just got the right arm of Ian Gary classed as well. Good defense by the Talaman. Pretty unusual position this. It seems to be, yeah, it seems to be a, a bit of a, a null in the action where neither can really do anything to advance position, so it wouldn't surprise me here if Decky Larkin steps in and separates. That's what he's doing. Back in the center here, so Costello might be looking to step up the action here and chest it, test the chin of Ian Gary. Gary nice and loose though. Stephen Costello nice as like a coil spring. Costello's nice and loose. Oh, big, big right hand big by right Steve hand. Costello talking about testing the chin. And he big. just landed heavily on it. And that's why, we, that's why he's called the juggernaut. You see the explosiveness which you can cover that distance in the, in the cage and the, 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 the weight in the right hand. I haven't seen Ian Gary hit like that. I've called most of his fights, and I haven't seen a clean shot like that land on Gary, and it beautiful shot by Costello. Gary, Gary doing very, very well to stand back up after that, though. Kept his composure and was able to reverse it and stand back up and put Costello against the cage. The speed in which Costello covered the distance there was phenomenal. Without a tail, big right hand, covered the distance, beautiful. And big, strong, powerful, Defense here as well. Gary just trying to punish him with shots as he going down, but Costello back up again, using all that athleticism you were speaking of, Richard. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see now how it goes into the third round. With that carrying that much muscle, they can see can tend, the arms and legs and tend to get heavy. And I think that's the strategy that Gary is trying to employ. Gary looking to take the back possibly here. He's got it. Looking for the trip. The 10 second clapper goes. Costello doing very well to send the takedown. They look to fall back and slam maybe. Costello done well, but Gary gets it to the mat, and that will leave a little point as well for the judges, but an excellent opening round again. Gary really, really controlling the round. fight up against the cage with that big right hand, and the distance covered by Costello, ultra impressive. Exactly. Probably Gary, Gary landing the higher volume of strikes, but Costello with the more significant strike, and that explosiveness picking Gary up and driving him across the cage. Second round about to get underway here in the Cage Legacy middleweight division. Ian Gary, SPG Source, taking on Steve Costello of SPG Tala. And Gary was really using a lot of his judo worker, pinning Costello up against the cage, landing some volume shots on Costello, but Costello landed the bigger right hand of the fight that certainly tested the chin of Ian Gary. Gary opens up with a nice low calf kick. Nice. Costello just looking for the Superman punch. Nice flow to Gary, nice flow to Gary. Nice work by Gary, just misses with that right hand. Working nicely behind that jab as well, Richard. Oh, 
I like that leg kick. It's twice he's gone to it and twice he's put Costello off balance, but man, does Costello throw with power? He does. Costello's throwing with power. I'd like to see him set it up, though. I'd like to see him set it up rather than telegraphing it. Gary changes levels just in front of the pole there. I can't see behind it, but... Costello defending well. Costello has the grip and, and looking at the rest on the leg, but Gary seamlessly tries to transition to the back. Costello hasn't let go of that leg, as you can see. Just pushing the head down on Costello. He's got to be careful. Costello trying to drive through to complete the takedown. Gary punishing hammer fist. They are punishing and they're on target. Becky Larkin just having a, a word with Ian just to say make sure they're legal. Gary expecting a snap down here from Ian Gary. He might have picked up the nuke. Dylan too calling for it. And again, again you said this is a great strategy by Ian Gary against the powerhouse like Steve Costello. That's it. He's mixing up between pushing him against the cage and trying to sap that energy and then breaking off with his foot and catch him with, trying to catch him with nice clean flurries. But in but uh, Stephen Costello is such a powerhouse, so explosive and athletic that because this fight is not over until he can catch him at any single time. You can see that he's like a coil spring, ready to land that right hand. Back in the center, of the cage. he looks for the loop and right hand just as Gary was thrown and take down on reverse. Take him, took him down, and now he's on top. Rocking Costello off her from the top. Gary gets it back to his full guard. Expect him to switch the hips here, maybe go look for an arm. Costello very tidy on the ground as well. Of course, this is SPG v SPG as well, so there's there's bragging rights between the franchises. Exactly, but it's great to see it's great to see the SPG, these young fighters coming through with the, the skill level that they have. The future's bright. Just looking to elevate Costello up, but Costello got heavy hips there and pushed the butterfly back down. I'd like to see Costello be a bit more active from here and start trying to land some strikes. At the moment, he's just sitting content where he is, hasn't really advanced or tried to posture up. Gary tying him up well. Maybe looking to work his way up for an arm, possibly here. And now he's going back down there. Expect it. 10 second clapper to go here. Right on cue. Costello got the takedown, didn't really do much with it when it got to here. What way do you score that as a judge? Do you score the takedown as a big score? He never advanced position. It's, it's, yeah, it's hard to know what the judge will say. It was a great takedown. He, it, was, it was a very good throw, but again, didn't advance more. He didn't advance from that. Gary at the start of the round cut, cut, uh, cut Stephen with a nice combination, pushed him up against the cage. Stephen was able to reverse out. Reverse out so. It'd be a difficult one for the judges to have Gary down for the first round and uh, Razor close second. Razor actually I don't know if the first round actually. That, that right hand could have yeah. equalized it. Getting ready for your third round here in the middleweight division, Ian Gary and Steve Costello. Very close fight and great technique by both fighters. Different facets of MMA have really been displayed here. Another great fight on the Cage Legacy card. Jackie Larkin gets us underway. A touch of gloves, the sign of respect. And Ian Gary, Steve Costello enter the third round. Just a low shot on the cup. Gary waves it off. Both Stephen acknowledged it. Costello was sort of reaching with that shot, and Gary slid out of the way. Handy enough, but was out of range for the counter himself. Stephen needs to keep the left hand up. There's that overhand right that Gary was looking for. And you think Costello might be happy to keep it in this range. Although he Superman punch again and Gary gets the back. Gets one hook in. Might slide across into mount. In mount. And this is a battle for position and the head and arm triangle is potentially there. Stephen has that leg locked I think. And in Gary looking to tie it up here. He's got the arm and the bicep. He's in position although he's got to free that leg to try and advance here. To really tighten it up, he's almost stepping into full mount here. Again, almost a shin guard just blocking it out. Costello, a little bit more friction in the fence. Decky Larkin right on top of the action as well. And Gary making Ian Costello carry all his weight, which is going to sap his energy, even if he's not. And he looks like he's freeing that. He like he's freeing. He's got to be careful of going too high here, but you have to he's going to flatten out Costello here and land shots from the top. And this is Ian Carey, one of the nicest guys outside of the cage, but right now he is a vicious man when he gets here landing shots. Heavy ground and pound by Ian Carey. Costello tries to maneuver himself out of there. 
Trying to fish the arm under for the... God, Stephen needs to do something here. Can't just stand there. Declare can stand. Flatten him out as well. And this Declan is where Ian Carey in. shines, Richard. Carey should have continued with the shots there rather than go for the choke. Referee was looking closely. Maybe yeah. if he landed a few more shots, he's stuck in a position that he can't get out of, not intelligently defending himself. But Gary has been surgical here. He's staying calm again. Something we spoke about earlier in, in the fights tonight. These young fighters just so calm. Ian Gary, big shots on top again. Dick Larkin is looking closely. Turn it up, and Ian Gary has got the decision. Referee, I believe, is right. Costello's not defending, turtling up is not defending herself. It was a great stoppage, but a great fight all together. Excellent all fight. Together. Excellent fight. Both both have very bright futures, futures in the game. Ian and Gary was very, very clinical in, in terms of in, in terms of his uh, is, is finishing finishing Stephen Costello, but very close fight up until the up until Excellent the third fight. round. Excellent fight. Both young men will learn from it as well. The talent in this country is unbelievable. <laughs> Let's stop the action at 3 minutes and 20 seconds and round number 2.